Alright, this is part two of the GameBridge tutorial. Um, in this tutorial I'll show you how to compress the videos that you record and where to get the compressor and the codex. So just follow my instructions. Alright, um, what you're going to need to do is get a codec and a coder, right, so you can compress it, you know, make it smaller and able to put on YouTube. Um, what you're going to want to do is first Google Media Coder because there's a website for it but it's too long to say just Google Media Coder uh, one word um, next you uh, click on this or you can always click on downloads but just go to the site and then click on download um, scroll down and make sure you get the most stable build do not get any um, like currently in develop currently developing or experimental because they don't work make sure you get the uh, most stable build which in this case would be media coder 0 0.6.1.40545 0 .5, whatever stupid numbers um, that's the one you'd get you just click on it um, this thing should pop up I should. If it doesn't, just click it again. There we go. Alright, here you would, um, here it is right here. You scroll, or you don't have to scroll, but you can do full pack installer, zip, whichever one you want. I do full pack installer. And, um, the thing, uh, please stand by. Um, it should pop up, but if you have like security things, this thing should pop up. Just right click it and choose download file. Alright, then this pop up, you can run or save, save it for whatever you want. Um, I already have it, so I'm not going to, but you know, it's all kind of obvious what you do after that. <clears throat> so now, you um, go to divx.com, one word, D I V X. Dot com. Um, shit. Um, I'd like to apologize for the uh, very shi uh, shitty quality. This is in, you can barely see the lettering, but this is pretty much just to give you an idea of where all the stuff to click on is. Um, but right now, you click on free download for DivX. Um, this thing should pop up, or maybe not for you, but it does for me. I click download file. This pops up for me. Um, it may not for you. There's nothing wrong. Um, it might be something to do with DivX.com, but there's nothing wrong with them. You just I just click retry, and it I don't know if it resends the information. And then this pops up, and you run a save. Um, I don't know why it does that. It just does, but not nothing. It doesn't mess up anything. So you just download that codec, and now you have the codec to. Um, to compress it with so um, now I will show you how to compress your videos alright so after clicking on your or after opening media coder it will open up a web page you know this is their way of doing it and you just all you have to do is click at this even if you check the box do not show on startup it still shows up for some reason um, now you can just exit out of this and you can open up your um, well, MIDI coders opened up. Um, I don't know how we can see this. The quality is still probably pretty shitty, but um, if you have any videos on there, which if you've just got this, you won't. Um, to remove any videos they've already um, compressed, um, up here you just click clear. Um, so now it's completely empty. Now, if you want to add a video that you want to compress, which I'm going to show a video of Driver 2. Um, I didn't put it on YouTube because it ended up being too long anyway. It was over 11 minutes. And even if I compressed it, it still wasn't going to be small enough because it was almost a 500 megabyte file size. So um, in those cases, if you compress it and it's still too big, that's when you'd want to... And usually in that case, it, it must be... a long video anyway so you want two part video for that but for the most part this always works um, so up here you just click add and I usually add file um, 
you can compress more than one at a time. Um, go to desktop, or this is my way. This is going to get the video. All right, here it is. Um, you go click on get your file, and um, I think this is what I called it. Yep, yeah, open. All right, this is my file. 490 megabyte sized file. I'm going to be compressing it. So what um, what you should be doing? See, in this case, it even actually down here you can see if you can see this right down here it tells you the estimated file size, which is 71 megabytes, which would be small enough to fit on YouTube. So actually, I could probably put this on YouTube if I really wanted to. That's an estimate. It usually is about what it is. Um, but what you want is. A, to check all the tabs and make sure they look like mine. You can choose your output folder right here. Audio, you can usually you can leave that. It's usually right, but just make sure it looks what you want. Make sure it comes it goes out in AVI file. You can have it go in a different file, but AVI for um, YouTube is what I put it in. Uh, format, XVID, um, KBPS, 800. Um, you sir, usually you can just ignore that frame rate um, since it's already in good quality and you're gonna be compressing it you might as well have it in the top which is 30 frames per second um, and make sure you check that box um, time you just ignore that usually I didn't have to change anything on that and for that that should be about it so after you have all that you can just click the start button All right, this may take a little bit. It could take um, different amounts of time. Uh, sometimes they'll 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 ask you to update it, but um, do not update it because it'll update it to the uh, unstable build. As you can see, it pops up, and it the unstable build does not work. So just exit out of it. All right, there we go. Um, this should be. Um, compressing. When this is all done compressing, um, it will be in whatever folder you had the output um, to, and that's when you can upload it onto YouTube. And if you don't know how to do that, watch a video on how to. But this is just to compress your videos. Um, that's pretty much it. That's how you can use GameBridge, how you can get them onto YouTube. And actually, the uh, quality is still very good. Um, as you can just go watch one of my Guitar Hero videos because I don't feel like making a random video for it. And um, hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions or if you don't get something, don't feel free to uh, PM me. Um, anything you didn't get, if I missed something, anything, just feel free to PM. And thanks for watching.